Hey friends, this is Dr. Steve and I'm back talking about sunglasses and just rounding out my IGTV series on uh, what to look for in your next pair of sunglasses. Uh, check out the link in our bio for an in-depth blog post that I created uh, talking about the different features that you should be watching out for and which one would be right for you. And also check our description for this video because I, I, I re-included the, um, all the different eyewear that we represented in this video. Uh, so in terms of sunwear, there's uh, definitely new styles taking place. Uh, so when you are looking for it, I would definitely recommend uh, checking out this video and just share it with other friends too. Uh, the one I'm going to start out with first is this one here from Orgreen, made in Denmark. Uh, they, they specialize in beta titanium, so you can see this thin metal frame here. What I really like about this is that it's a take on uh, traditional rectangular eyewear. Uh, so you can see it's still rectangular, but it's got a bit of a different dimension to it, which I really like. Uh, and also the part that uh, I think stands out the most is the two tones. You're going to see a lot more sunglasses this year where there's two tones mixed in with the eyewear. And a lot of people have seen just plain black, plain brown, uh, silver, gold, maybe they've seen some tortoises out there. Um, that's very common, but I don't think sunglasses needs to just be a unified color. And so this is why I really like this one here. Well, the other one I'm going to show here is uh, you know, there's definitely elements of retro coming back into sunwear. We've seen it a lot in the clothing industry already in fashion, um, but sunwear is also including that. But what I like about it is that they don't just go all the way back to retro, is that they, they add that modern twist to it. So you can see this super classy uh, Masanaga sunwear uh, where it's got that black, the matte black and matte gold. Um, just beautiful combination and again just a take on the old school uh, retro aviator sunglass types and the other one that they've kind of done here is using a top bar here so you can, you can see that reminiscence top bar on the top there but again just with that modern twist which I really really like from Masanaga and then the last two I'm going to feature here uh, is using this one here this one's from Anne Valentine from France uh, beautiful acetate, really nice take on a round frame. So again, just a little bit different than what you're normally seeing out there. Uh, and then I love that they added a little bit of a thick temple on that side and also a different tone. And so again, it's that combination of different two tones. This frame here uh, is a bit more feminine, I would say, than masculine. Um, the Avenue Magazine actually used this eyewear to feature for their uh, latest edition for spring, their best dress style uh, edition. So check out the magazine. Um, and you'll see that the, one of the models is wearing this one here. And the last one is the rounded one from Ivan. Again, just as it's not completely rounded, um, but it's just got a bit of a different shape to it. Uh, I really like it a lot because it's super light. And Ivan and from Japan just really specializing in these really thin metal uh, cable temples that just make it super light and easy to wear. Um, so yeah, this is um, some of the trends that you must you'll be seeing with sunwear. Uh, let me know what you think, add your comments, and uh, feel free to share this with your friends.